So just so you can see what is happening here, I'm going to stick you into the water and uh, you'll get a little look of what we see here under the waves. Welcome to Paradise and welcome to the channel. Mm. You're probably thinking, what the fins? That is a forest. And yes, indeed, this is a forest. That is my buddy Morton. He has some fins and this is a river. So let's go river snorkeling. You're allowed to, to swim here. Yes. In Germany, there's something called Naturschutzgebiet, which is basically a natural protected area where you have uh, uh, to be very careful when you walk around, you need to pick trash up. Uh, so basically just to make sure that uh, the infrastructure there... I don't care, as uh, long as I get my mower. So what my friend Morton is doing right there is he's facing us and actually incidentally facing the sun. That's his aim to do what they call a controluce shot in cinematography. That's against the light shooting. And he's doing that with his dome port, which will allow him to do a half and half shot. So half above the water, half underneath the water. And he's doing that with a Sony camera. I want to see if I can capture the perspective from below the surface into the forest. Yeah, this is what I try. I don't know what kind of fish there is here. I think they call it Steckelfish. In Bayern sagt man Steckelfish. Weil es ist drum auf einen Stecker. Steckelfisch. Steckel. Du musst Zunge raus, da richtig rollen. Ja, genau. He's right there doing his shooting. These two ladies just walked past and they were wondering, what is he doing? And yeah, they found it pretty cool and they said, hopefully he'll get some nice pictures. This is a question for all you marine biologists out there. Of course, we learn never to walk on a reef because that's detrimental for a reef. How is it though to walk in a river? Is that problematic for um, the microclimate inside a river? Is that something that can uh, damage the substrate? This is a question for all you marine biologists out there. Let us know in the comments. This is a little pond in a natural protected area which we found, which is now apparently accessible and should find a little more depth. I'm gonna get into my dry suit as well and have a little wander about. We're about to put dry suits on and go into this pond right back here to try and get some more video and pictures. Wow. This is, uh, this is pretty interesting. Yeah. Hello. Where are you going to? I'm just checking out this pond. For all of you people living in places like Florida, Louisiana or things like that, by now you would have been eaten by an alligator. Thankfully here in Bavaria we don't really have anything like that. But it's cool! To a dry suit specialty, it really opens up complete new worlds. Whenever you buy a dry suit you have two options, front or back donning. This one is a back donning one, so you need your buddy to help you and uh, he has a front donning one, so he can actually do that by himself. $100 more on the price list. Especially a time like now, where you cannot take a plane and go somewhere. Just use what you have available. It's not an otter dry suit, but I feel pretty ottery right now. What do you think? What's your favorite dry suit brand and why? Let us know in the comments. It's quiet, it's peaceful. It's in the middle of nature and it's a great way to get away just by staying on your doorstep. It's fantastic. Really different scenery than uh, where Morton was shooting before because we had some depth here. Maybe two, two and a half meters at the deepest point down in the middle of the pond. Galgensee, that's the name. And uh, 
yeah, I will see how the pictures went. Um, temperature was okay. Yeah. What do you think? Eight, seven, eight degrees. No idea. No idea. Uh, yeah. Cold. 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 cold, cold, cold yeah. But uh, if you move. <laughs> if you move, then it actually... <laughs> now he put beer in my head. God damn it! <laughs> Nauticam housing with a Sony and with uh, two light and motion lights. That's a pretty pro setup he has, I have to say. We've uh, just uh, donned again and we're gonna have another quick jump in on a different spot. This is basically in the middle of uh, the village here. So it's not rural anymore. Let's see what we can get. Are you trying the same kind of shot as before? Yeah. Yeah. Trying some drifting shot. Yeah. See if there should be like a, a trout, maybe a salmon, maybe a shark or a whale shark. We chose this place pretty randomly and uh, mainly because we could access it easily with the car. So if you look at here, these are some family, very nice family houses, so some, some people living there. That's a, not a bad place to live. I'm going to jump in here as well, see how this works. What housing do you have here, sir? This is the Nauticam housing for the Sony Next 6. Yeah. Today we mounted an iron-on wide-angle wetlands on it. Yeah. And I have my two old solar video lamps yeah. still working after all those years. you ever fall into a river what you should do first thing is try to remain calm it can be very cold to relax your body and try to float to the side using the current and as soon as you find something you can hold on to just hold on to that after that get out as fast as you can and warm up Down. Ah. So that's been the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, pretty interesting what you can do just on your doorstep with some equipment and of course some water. So as usual, stay well, keep your souls wet and see you next time.